hi it's Muhammad Rehan and welcome to my channel IELTS with Rehan and today in this video we'll be talking about IELTS writing task 2 and in this we'll be talking about planning and paragraphing uh, normally it is said that the task 2 um, requires you to write this uh, and attempt the task in 40 minutes um, and the word count that is required in this task is 250 words now when the word count is given to you it is it does say that at least 250 words are used but remember that this does not mean that 250 words are the deadline it means that you need to go over that this is the minimum target so you need to at least for a good healthy writing task too you need to go uh, to like 280 or 290 words at least um, now the 40 minutes task time does not mean that after 40 minutes your test is going to be taken or separate 40 minutes are given for this task it means that you are given one complete hour for the task one and the task two now it's up to you that you um, divide the time um, however you think is best possible means for you like you could divide it to 30 30 or 25 uh, 35 or however um, but you should not give more than 30 minutes for the the first writing task one now let's talk about planning first planning in task 2 is very important because once you go through your reading listening and then task 1 uh, you're probably exhausted and properly shattered um, as far as your uh, mental levels are concerned you'll be totally low with them so you do need to create planning first for your task um, two without that you're gonna go out of the track you're gonna move away from the sequence and you're gonna have problems um, in your further writing task so planning is highly important now the way coming towards the paragraphing now the major question in paragraphing is can you write five to six paragraphs now the answer to this is no you can't so paragraphing five to six not advisable totally not allowed um, the best um, the figure the best figure for the paragraphing is four um, well it totally depends on the statement it depends on the statement that you've got um, sometimes there are some certain statements that you are to write at least five paragraphs themselves so you can write four and sometimes depending on the statement you can also write five paragraphs not too much of the paragraphing is done so if you're going to be dividing your paragraphs into six or seven or five then you're gonna have to um, keep them short because obviously uh, short and you're going your uh, expanding abilities uh, in the paragraphs are going to be limited and uh, it's not going to be marked um, uh, to be a good thing so uh, keep your paragraphs low as four and depends on the statement you can also have them in five now introduction is one and conclusion is the other now these are the two paragraphs that are a must figure they are definitely to be written introduction and conclusion now in between there is one body paragraph and the other so there could be two body paragraphs in between now if you are to depending on the statement write five paragraphs now where can you add another paragraph that is going to be only in between not after conclusion not before introduction introduction is always at the first conclusion is right at the end and there could be three paragraphs in between if you got another question or the long statement depending on the statement you can add three body paragraph but majority 80 percent of the statements require you to write a four paragraph writing so the paragraphs should be limited it should be well planned and they should be properly sequenced 